Nerisa? Good evening, Elsie. Based on the data released by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, or ABS, 21.7% of e-cigarette users belong to the age group of 18 to 24 years and is the highest proportion of the age group who have ever used an e-cigarette in Australia, while 7.7% were aged between 15 to 17. With the vaping's increasing popularity, which other young people may see on televisions and social media platforms as a trend to follow, it now causes major concern in the education sector and now relying on vape detectors installed in school toilets and bots to detect users. An e-cigarette or vape is a device that can be used to heat liquids to produce vapors that users can inhale. Vape aerosols in the device are not water vapor, and many vapes contain addictive nicotine disguised in different flavors. According to the New South Wales Health, the nicotine in one vape can equate to 50 cigarettes. Vapes can contain the same harmful chemicals found in cleaning products, nail polish removers, weed peeler, and bug sprays. Danger to one's mental and physical health includes a higher risk of anxiety, depression, and serious lung disease. Long-lasting brain development effects can also occur. In Australia, our Australia Therapeutic Goods Administration, or TTA, announced in October 2021 that a prescription will be necessary to purchase nicotine e-cigarettes, nicotine pods, and liquid nicotine, a maximum of three months supply at one time or up to a maximum of 15 months supply is permitted within 12 months. Any import from overseas without prescription or over the limitation is illegal and could have a maximum penalty of 222,000 Australian dollars. It remains illegal across the country for local suppliers to sell vapes, e-cigarettes, and e-liquid to a person under 18 year old. I'll see. Thank you, Nerisa Dando, reporting live from Japan.